The biological approach is applied to consumer behaviour in a slightly different way to the other approaches. Instead of influencing consumer behaviour through theories from the biological approach, it actually uses a range of scanning techniques to understand our behaviour when making consumer decisions. So advertisers can use this understanding to influence consumers. This is called neuromarketing. Essentially, working out how the brain is impacted by different types of consumer activities, such as viewing adverts, so it can be used to understand and therefore influence people. One type of scan that is used in neuromarketing is called Functional Magnetic Resonance Imaging, or FMRI for short. This is a type of brain scan that shows the flow of blood and oxygen to different parts of the brain. This allows advertisers to see which parts of a person's brain are stimulated by different types of stimuli or activity. They can then use this to make sure their adverts have the effect they want. They're essentially looking for a buy button in a person's brain. Another type of scan used in neuromarketing is called the electroencephalogram, or EEG for short. This involves connecting electrodes to a person's scalp and measuring the electrical activity of the brain through brainwave patterns. This works in a similar way to the fMRI, helping advertisers to understand which part of the brains are impacted. However, it is more convenient as it is done with a skull cap, so it can be done anywhere, including more realistic environments like at the inside of shops, whereas the fMRI requires a large MRI scanner. On the other hand, it provides less detailed information as it only shows activity on the surface of the brain, rather than the deeper parts which are connected to emotions. Another technique used in neuromarketing is eye tracking. This is when researchers use technology to track a consumer's eye movements when they view a product or advert. This helps them to understand where they spend more time looking and how to manipulate their attention towards certain details. Similarly to the EEG, eye tracking equipment is portable and can be done in realistic situations such as shops. Finally, advertisers use facial coding. This is a scanning technique that is used to analyse the movements in the face. Facial movements are linked to emotions, such as smiling when happy. So facial coding is a way of advertisers measuring these emotions in response to a brand or advert. All of these examples of neuromarketing techniques aim to measure and understand behaviour, so it can be used to influence consumers. However, there are also ethical issues with this, as it manipulates people using behaviours that they are not aware of and cannot control.